So talking about memory, Mm -hmm. the question is, do you believe Moses? Mm -hmm. Do you believe Moses, friends? Do you really believe Moses? Because that's where the foundation of this comes from. And so let's read in John chapter 5, verse 46 through 47. It says, for if you believed Moses, you would believe and commit your trust to me, for he wrote in description about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Mm-hmm. Now, in regards to this subject, um, I think there's like between 10 and 12 verses, very specifically in the Gospels, where Yahshua says, I will eat this Passover in the house with my disciples before I suffer. Not Mm -hmm. after, before. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why it's the Last Supper. Mm -hmm. It's the last Passover supper. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm not going to eat this again with you until the kingdom. So he's cutting a new covenant in his blood that night. Mm -hmm. But we in the body Messiah, it's amazing how many people I talk to. No, 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 no. He couldn't have said that. There's no way that could be. There has to be another explanation. Okay, I'm ears. Give me another explanation. (laughs) Did he say what he mean? Did he mean what he said? But they can't never give you an answer. Well, if you can't answer your own statement, how can you be sure that it's true? And why would you hold on to something that's erroneous that you can't prove? Exactly. That right there is a sign there's something going on in your heart that you don't want to let go of. Mm -hmm. And that's a sign of a stronghold. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual stronghold that has got a hold of you that you haven't even come to learn to recognize yet. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. What is the old saying? A man convicted against his wills of the same opinion still? Yeah. <laughs> we got that rampant in the body of Messiah. Oh, you got anything yes. you want to say about that? Only thing, I, I, I'm, I'm going to say this really quick because I want you to, to deal with how you got it laid out. Um, we today, we have uh, a little bit more, uh, we would think we have a little bit more information than they did before us in this generation of Yeshua's time that if somebody comes to you and, and um, I've told them about you and I send them over to meet you and when they meet you they don't recognize that it's you but I already described you, explained <laughs> you to them, right. told you what right. it's going to do now we can say oh they didn't even know him But how many of us don't know him today when we don't keep his word, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So we all, we can't get so high minded that we got it laid out and then don't really realize when he's talking to you through us, through this message that he's giving you, he's trying to reveal himself to people today. Mm -hmm. So if what's your going to be your excuse, if you don't believe his words, because Moses told you who who he's coming and what kind of covenant he's coming to make. And yet we're listening to somebody else give you a different covenant. Yeah. I think the average person in my experience in Mm -hmm. 40 years in this, uh, they don't want to go against the masses. They're too afraid to step out because yeah. they know the implications that the moment they step out, everybody's going to be point. He's not one of us anymore. Yes. He's a sellout. He's in bondage. He's under a curse now, you know, mm-hmm. and they don't have nothing to do with you. I well, know. welcome to the club. Yes. Welcome to the club. Well, After a while, it's actually quite a blessing yes. not to be around that. Yeah. Once you can break free of it, mm-hmm. you know. And, and actually, you know, I got to say, that's where the rubber really starts to meet the road, because you don't have the social structure to influence you in the wrong way anymore. And now you have to learn day by day to pray to the Messiah and walk with him in a relationship without other people getting into the middle of all that and, and, and causing a disruption in that relationship where he can really show you how to walk in this life with him without the structure. Exactly. Because you have to ask yourself the question, whose voice are you listening to? Exactly. You know, um, they didn't know. They claimed they knew Yeshua's father. Yeshua said, 
I only do what my father tells me to do. Right. If you knew if if you knew my father, then you would know me also. Because right. if he told me to do something, surely he told you to do the same thing that I'm doing. Right. Exactly. And so, but they didn't know him. So he concluded that they didn't know his father. And so we we really have to be really careful on how the enemy inserts different um, things to take control of our. Uh, hearing of our senses, you know, when you know something isn't right, and yet you do it because you're persuaded by the majority. Right, exactly.